All right, so what we're going to attempt to do here, we have to get the uh, the old seals out. And there's two of them in here. Uh, one's facing up and one's facing down. Um, over here, I have uh, two two brand new seals that I'm going to push in there with this little little device I made. It just fits like that, and you just gently tap it in. But first thing we got to do is get this out. Um, I just have a regular uh, flathead and uh, these lovely pliers here. So. I'm definitely a little embarrassed at how long that took, but got the last seal out nonetheless. Try to rotate it. It's stuck in there pretty good. What I'm going to do is take compressed air and really, really clean this out. Try to get all the metal shavings and everything like that out. Yep, the double wrench method definitely works. All right, nice even seal all the way around. All right, so we're going with the reassembly. Now when you set this up, let's see here, it's orientation to be to the left, so it shifts counter clockwise. So that's forward, neutral, reverse. Marbles mystery oil. Okay, we're gonna line this. 
this with the skag. Take that, I'm going to place it right there. So you put a perfect seal compound. And when you put this in, you want to make sure that you're going to read. Read the off and on. I don't have perfect seal compounds, so I'm using a high temperature gasket maker. Now we're going to put this in, and this lines up here, lines up with that. Pretty simple. something feels like I am I guess we're gonna find out all right so as I'm tightening this I'm feeling the shifter right here I'm trying to get it to, to shift All right, and the final step, as you can see there's the tab washer, there's four tabs, one of them should line up. So in this case, it's gonna be the second one to the left right there. So what we're gonna do is uh, bend that one back so it locks the retaining nut into place. All right, so there you have it. Everything looks pretty good. Thanks for watching.